All right, welcome back. Today we are going to adjust our canvas size in Piscal and we're going to create two simple idle animations that we are going to use for our game later on in the year. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is our uh, canvas size. So come over here to resize, right? I'm going to change this resize to 24 by 24 because we talked about it before. Notice when I Put the number in the width it automatically changes the height you can change that if you really wanted to for instance if you wanted a character that's really short or really skinny and really tall you could adjust it but keeping things square is really great for our engines we're going to keep that um, so i'll leave that on now i'm not going to resize the canvas content that would actually change how this object is built but instead what i'm going to do is just click resize now you'll notice that my little character got cut all right, if we try and move him, he's, he's gone. So that's no good, we can't do that. The reason is we didn't change the anchor point. Now our character, well, the, our character is sitting at the bottom, on the bottom for, uh, pixel. So we need to make sure that this stays the same and the rest of the frame comes down. So by clicking down here, we, when we resize the canvas, it will squeeze in from the sides and down from the bottom until it gets to 24, which is what we want. So hit 24. Now I'm going to resize, and now we are perfectly aligned. So now our character is taking up all 24 pixels, just like you said. If your character was 32 um, and you've already sized it to 32, that's fine. If there's a little space above them or a little space on each side, that's also not a problem. We want to make sure uh, that it fits within those main sizes so that it's consistent. Um, if your character was 16, that's fine too. As long as it stays within that, then you're going to be okay. Once again, you see I have 10 colors over here. So we're good to go on colors. So what we need to do now that we've resized things is we need to actually adjust the, our idle animation. So our idle animation is going to be something simple like a blink. In order to do that, we're going to create a new frame over here. What I'm going to do is this setup, I'm going to duplicate this frame. By duplicating this frame, I am now selecting which one I want to edit. So I'm going to select this second frame here, and I'm going to come in with my apple color, and I'm just, oops, I'm going to make sure I hit B for, or P for pen, and I'm going to close his eyes or its eyes, I don't know, it's a him, I guess, right? You'll notice up here, you can see that the animation is changing once every second. It might be set to like much higher right now, but for me, one once per second is good. I'm gonna close this. Oops, I did not want to get his eyebrow there. And okay, so now I'm going to, to put little lines uh, here and here. Blink. All right, now if you want to get a little more fancy, uh, you can put maybe some overlap here so we can see the eyelids down a little bit. Blink. And if we speed it up a little bit, I usually run about five frames a second. It looks like he's blinking like crazy. Okay, and that's okay uh, if you like it. You could do that. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, so that's our basic idle animation. Okay, if you like that, that sort of dark area like that, you can do it if you want to give it a little highlight because it's like, I don't know, an apple and you want it to look shiny. I don't know if that looks great, but whatever. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got our blink. I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate this frame again. And I'm going to click on it and drag it down. So we've got uh, two frames with this open eyes open and one with a blink now in the engine in the game engine unreal you can actually adjust the length of how long a frame is played so we're not going to worry about too much of that uh, but for now I want to create another animation where he sort of he's looking one direction and then maybe he turns and looks the other direction and comes back so that that will be our second animation for this file okay so the first thing we're going to do is adjust the eye the pupil all right so i'm going to change it for the notice i'm on frame three i'm going to change it like this uh i want to right click that oops boop boop so this is almost an anticipation okay 
So the anticipation, oh, I need another frame. I'm gonna duplicate that frame, move it down. Okay, so his eyes are open, his eyes are closed, his eyes are open, and now he's going to lead with his eyes first, and then he's gonna move his head a little bit. Now, my character doesn't have a head, it's his whole torso. So what I'm gonna do is actually shift all of this over. So I'm gonna use this tool here, which is a rectangle selection. I'm going to grab all of this, oops, by clicking and dragging, grabbing his whole face, right? Holding shift and dragging it over like, oh, no, I'm not. I need to make a duplicate first. I need to take, this is the one I wanted to do. So I'm gonna duplicate that frame, sorry. I'm gonna duplicate that frame, grab all of this, because he's already looking that way. And I'm going to hold shift and drag it over this way by let's say two frames, okay? So I've turned, mm, that's too much. Maybe one frame or one pixel, sorry. Shift, drag over by one, okay? Now I gotta be careful because some of my stuff has changed, right? Uh, I'm gonna hit P again so I can get my colors back. Uh, let's do left, right. So this is my brighter color. I don't want the, I don't want this part of the pixel to change. So there we go. I want to make sure I'm not overwriting his anything here. Like his, see his armpit is sort of disappearing and it used to be right there. So I want to make sure I keep that. All right. So if you look closely now, he looks over a little bit and then he turns his head. Now, I know it's not super realistic because we're not changing any of the rotation. We could make it look like uh, the shading has changed a little bit, which we probably should do. So let's go ahead and grab the highlight. Let's make it so that this just moves a little bit like that. Let's look at it up here. How's it look? All right. Not terrible, not terrible. Let's give it a little darker over here. Maybe let's move this shadow over a little bit. There. So now it kind of looks like he's turning his head. If you have a character with a head, you may need an eye, a half turn, and then a full turn. Obviously, it's not going to be a snap, snap. It could. It totally could. But... You probably want one frame in between. So there we go. We've got a blink. We've got a starting turn, a head turn, and then it goes back to the beginning. If we want, we can turn this back again at a new frame of this eyeball section. Oops, delete that. I want to duplicate this frame. And I'm going to take the black and the white, and I'm going to put the black back here, white there, derp. <laughs> and now he's turned his head over so now he's going to look back the other way so blink look turn blink look now with that said this usually will happen much faster with a longer delay all right we also probably want to move the the leaf a little bit to sort of show that it's turning and we can do that too so for the one frame that his his uh, head is over here we can actually make the leaf come over too to sort of reinforce the fact that his head is turning let's see let's go ahead and do that real quick too let's grab this um, nope just kidding grab this yes I'm gonna grab the leaf hold shift move it over by one nope that's too many one enter Cool. And now we can just fill in that part with the B uh, for the P pencil tool. And there. All right. So now it looks like the everything's moving. We might want this whole section to move over as well. We could grab the uh, the eyedropper tool where is our eyedropper there it is it's O so I'm going to grab O hit P for pencil uh, O click there 
E, erase that, 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 that. And then probably even that. And then hit O, P, there. Cool. Let's go ahead and move that and that. All right, so now we've sort of get the impression that he's looking over. Maybe you can bring that down a little bit. Cool. I'm going to delete this frame. Now that I've done some work on his head, I'm going to duplicate the one that I've worked on a little more. And then take that. Make sure I've got my pencil tool. And I'm going to white and turn his eyes. Because he's getting ready to look back. There we go. All right. So now we've got our main frame. So we should have the default frame where we start. We have a blink. We have the eyes back open. We've got a eyeball shift, a head turn, then an eyeball shift, and then we're back to our original frame. Okay. Now, if you want to put some more time in this, you can, but remember this assignment should only take you a few minutes. Uh, so far, my video is 11 minutes and that's with a lot of explanation. So you should be able to finish this in about 20 to 25, 30 minutes tops. Okay. So with that said, let's, rem let's remember how we're going to save this file. Okay. So I'm going to save, I'm going to save as, and I'm going to put it on my desktop and right here, I'm going to make sure this number is whatever period you're in. So if you're in fourth period, put a four, do not use the number symbol. The number is a variable, which means you're going to put whatever your period is right there where it says number, the, the hashtag symbol. That hashtag symbol should say four, just the number four, not fourth or eighth, just four. There should be an underscore. You should put your last name, an underscore, and character idle, and it will be a dot .piscal file. So change that so it's whatever number you are, four, whatever your last name is, Donnan, and then your character idle. Now remember, it's period number, just period number. I'm gonna hit save. I'm not gonna hit save, but um, I'm gonna save it. And then when you save it, you're gonna upload that picture or that Piscal file to this assignment for 50 points. 20 of those points are gonna be based on the blinking animation and the other 20 are gonna be based on the head turning animation. After that, that's, uh, you're also going to make sure that the file itself is inside a 24 or whatever size your image is. So that's 10 points. All right. Always look at the rubric as you turn it in to make sure you checked off all those boxes. All right. That's it for today. So that's not it for today, but that's it for this video. And I will see you next time.